about the Yeezy 350 and now a lot of you have been asking me about the 350 and the Yeezy in general and I do come back to it as often as I can um, this time around what it I mean you know I did the review of the first 350 a while back when it came out and then I just let it be because the same shoe keeps coming out in different colorways this time around however we have a kind of a, a difference um, an unprecedented thing we have a re-release an alleged re-release of the Yeezy 350 Pirate Black. Now, um, why I say alleged? Well, I have here, uh, let me just show it to you. I have the two releases and um, on this side we have the first Yeezy 350 Pirate Black. Let me come as close as possible. That's the code number. What is it? It's AQ2659 in a UK 8.5 and, and then we have the new release over here of the Yeezy Boost 350 Pirate Black but as you can see already in the description of the colorway Adidas does state a different colorway and they also have a different product number the new Yeezy is the BB5350 Okay the box so far, the sticker is different, but the boxes are the same. I already opened them so it's easier to not lose time. You can see the size, the width, everything. I mean, it's the same, right? Sticker in the front and then on this side, in the back, we have our other two prints. Let me just double check that they're the same. Boost 350, Yeezy dot supply. Yeah. Okay, so let's open them up. I'm going to put the first edition here, and here we have the new edition. So let's take the new ones out. I mean, the paper inside is the same colorway. I'm showing you the paper because <laughs> it's going to be different inside of the shoes there okay so this is gonna be interesting let's compare these two shoes side by side first off this is the original release the inside I'm gonna take out this paper here put it there now, the tag on the inside states that they were produced in July of 2015. That is something that you can see on this tag here. They were made in China, and I mean, I don't know, I'm probably not close enough, guys. I mean, you could either screenshot this or check out your own, but you have that date that at a certain point in the shoe, it says APE 779001, and then you have 07 slash 15. That means July 2015. The new ones, and here I took out the second paper to see, these are kind of almost the same. They have a slightly different nuance in white, so it is different paper, but I mean, let's not get too anal about it. <laughs> these have the tag also on the same side of the shoe, the inner sticker tag, which you might call it the size tag also made in China, except of course, because these are newer, you will have a different date. And the date of production of the second release is July 2016. Did I say July? January. <laughs> Sorry guys. January 2016. July 2015, January 2016. So we got half a year distance between the two, July and January. Um, we notice a difference in the tags, the outer tags. The July 2015 edition has just one paper tag, People Republic of China, Hong Kong, UK, some color migration 
can occur due to the nature of the material. This tag we also have on our January production, released in February, but of course produced prior to the release. Same tag as the July 2015 edition, plus this extra paper bit here that it's basically a chart that states all possible materials, languages, what every material stands for. So it does not really tell us what our shoe is made of, but rather lists all the materials that Adidas uses for their shoes, which is a bit awkward, in my opinion. Um, a lot of speculation has been going on about these shoes. Are they the same? Are they different? People stating they're different. People stating they're the same. People saying that the boost inside of the sole is a bit different, higher or lower. I personally don't see a difference in height between the two boosts. The soles. That's the back. You see the little uh, tabs or tags or the little pull things in the back all have their red stitching the big and and actually the prime knit as well i mean people have been saying that the prime knit is slightly different honestly i do not see a difference there the prime knit is the same the color combination the variety between the black or the gray is it, it's the same there is a difference however in this show the first difference we encounter well the first first difference before we even open the box is the colorway number, uh, not number, but name. So what we have on the um, original edition, the first edition, it says pirate black, pirate black, pirate black, pirate black, pirate black, pirate black, like six times. That per bulk means pirate black. So it's all over pirate black. Now the re-edition has a different name. It says pirate black, blue grab, which probably is for blue, bra blue, uh, blue gray, then sea black, then again pirate black, blue gray, and then noir s, noi s. I do not know exactly what it stands for, but they have kind of switched around the name uh, and added other names of colors to the shoe. Even though to the naked eye, they do appear to be the same. But nevertheless, where have I spotted these major differences to begin? Well, major. I mean, for sneaker fans, they aren't probably major. For the rest of the world, they're not. It's the piping. That is the first giveaway between uh, the two shoes. This piping here and this piping there. I mean, I call it piping. You might call it something else. Now you can see the slight difference in color. This is kind of more of a blue hue to it. This is more grayish green. That's a difference. That's definitely a difference. And not just that, but also the material they used. Um, the first release of oh, shoes flying around is slightly softer to the touch. This material used for the piping here is kind of thicker and more satiny. This one here is more rough to the touch and it's smaller and they kind of have sewn it together tighter and closer to the edge of the sneaker. Here they didn't. Not just that, but the actual uh, stitching is looser and kind of more apart the actual each stitch. And I can't come that close to the camera, unfortunately, so forgive me for that, but just take my word for it, unless you can't really zoom in here. Every stitch is way bigger here than it is here. So here you have a kind of like a tighter stitch, you know, attaching this uh, piping to the actual shoe. So that's a difference, and it's a difference also in comfort because the original is softer to the touch and more comfortable to wear. This one is different. It's, it's a little bit more rough. It feels a little bit less elegant to the eye and also to the touch, definitely. Yeah, that's, that's a big difference for me. As we enter the shoe, a uh, huge difference between the two is the padding on the heel of the shoe. Now this, the, the new one, the new edition, you can always kind of identify it by the two tags. So I'm gonna... Has this padding in, inside. And the padding is way thicker than it used to be in the original release. With the one tag, which is there. 
Here you don't almost feel the padding. Now, what is interesting is, let me see if our, if our camera, if my camera can capture this, but the, the padding here in the new release is so much thicker that to the naked eye, when you see the shoe, you see it from the outside as well because it sticks out. It makes kind of the sides bulge a little. Like it's not a straight line, but there's a little like a little lump and then it goes round. The original release is just totally smooth and straight, which I personally prefer. Because even though the original release doesn't have that thick padding that the new release has, it's still extremely soft and it still has that kind of microfibery, leathery appeal to, to it. The material used inside is the same as the new one. It's kind of microfibery, except here we have like little cushions on the inside. And they do affect the aesthetic of the shoe on the outside because it does give us that lump. And I don't like that lump, personally. <clears throat> as far as the holes are concerned for the lacing or the laces, they are identical. They're really made the same way. The little pattern, the little kind of, I, I like to call it the, the tiger or, you know, tiger pattern. looks like little zebra tiger patterns on the primate are the same. And I have studio lights in here, so I can really see the true color in real life. I mean, they really do look the same. The, the stitching of the shoe here in the, in the center is also the same. Let's uh, get to the actual laces. The laces are slightly different. Um, and here I start to prefer the new release because the laces of the new release are a bit thicker and more supple to the touch. Uh, they do have the same pattern as do the laces of the original release, but the laces of the original release are slightly... Hmm, are, they're, they're tighter, they're like woven tighter, you know, it's a tighter weave or woven wove, <laughs> weave. Um, however, and this is where I prefer the original release, the tops of the laces, you could see, are mattified. This plastic bit here that ends the lace, is mattified. Now, let me see if I can come as close as possible to you guys. This is mattified. The new laces are not. They're glossy. You can see how they reflect and shine the light. The mattified version is way cooler in my opinion. It looks more expensive, more precious. This makes it look a bit cheap. So that is a difference. Now the actual laces, I do prefer the new laces, but I do prefer the end of the laces of the original version. They're mattified. New ones, glossy. Let's get to the inside sole of the shoe. I'm taking out the one from the original release and the one from the new release. Side by side, old, New, they look the same. Adidas Yeezy, the print is the same, the color is the same, the pattern of the texture. Yeah, more or less the same. The original is a bit tighter in the way it's kind of textured, but that could just be how it got kind of attached to the bottom. The bottom being this part here. Let's see, what does it say? Same codes, C8595, yeah, they're completely the same. So we have the original and the re-edition, both the same. I, I really don't see any major, actually I don't see any differences here, it just depends on in the factory how they just cut them. And they probably produced these in abundance, maybe even before they kind of produced the new shoes, so that doesn't change much, however, Let's see what's underneath the padding here. Prime nits look the same on the inside. I need the light and I don't have the light. <laughs> I hope you can see this a little bit. The structure inside is really the same. There, there's not much to say about that. There is, however, something to be said about the suede with the Yeezy logo on the side of the shoe. 
it's it's slightly different to the touch the original release is more on on point it's um the texture of it is a bit tighter it's a bit more precise i have the feeling it was cut better it was cut more in detail the new version is slightly softer to the touch and you can also see i mean when i put them you know top of each other old new you see how this one reflects the light differently? It's slightly... I mean, if I rub both of them, you know, I don't want you to think I'm like damaging one and not the other. I'm just like moving both. And this is how they react to light. This one stays more, you know, compact, more in itself. It reflects the light evenly. This one doesn't. Because I have the feeling the suede, you know, it's a little bit more grainy. It's a little bit more long. So it changes more according to how you play with it. This one keeps its shape more. This one is all in all more sturdy and firm. The bottom of the shoe is the same. It's really identical. I mean, they are mass produced and of course they're, they're not, you know, they're not handmade. So of course you're gonna have a little bit of glue somewhere, some glue residue here or there, that's fine. It's acceptable within this shoe. I mean, it's, it's a mass product. And um, I also do believe that it is true that they did produce more this time around, so the re-release is not as rare as the original. So what is my conclusion to all of this? I would definitely say, if you can, get a hold of the, of the first release. Not just because it is the first release, but also because it was produced in way smaller quantities and the attention to detail is a bit better. I have the feeling the materials overall used and kind of how compact the craftsmanship was for the original release is better than the re-release. However, the re-release is easier to find. So if you haven't gotten your hands on the original, definitely go for this one. As far as comfort goes, they're both comfortable just the same. But as we all know, I guess 99% of us are not buying them for the comfort, but just because they're easy. So there's something to be said about that as well. I mean, you know, we gotta kind of draw the line somewhere. Where does our um, fandom or our, you know, fanning out for uh, sneakers stop and where does kind of actual comfort begin? Both of them are comfortable just the same. I mean, I have pointed out literally elements and details for the sneaker freaks out there who really are into this sort of thing. Uh, the rest of the world just doesn't care. It's just a re-release of a Yeezy shoe, of course. But for those of you who really do care about the nuances and the slight differences, this is what I have found out. If you have found out any other differences in addition to what I have found out, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about the Yeezys per se and uh, if you would buy them and if you would buy them in the aftermarket and what do you think about the prices that they go for. Not original retail, but post retail. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, comment it and give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you wish to see more and um, take care everybody. Love you. Bye. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed my video and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos. I'm also on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. So come on over guys and join the fun.